Have you ever been told you've got a cavity and wondered if it can heal itself? Or you've seen those headlines claiming some miracle product or some popular diet that can help reverse tooth decay. It's a popular topic, but there's a lot of confusion and misunderstanding out there. First thing we need to understand is the difference between cavities and decay. Decay is the process that damages your teeth and that can be stopped or reversed if caught early. And in this video, we'll break down multiple things. So we'll break down the difference between decay and cavities. We'll break down how cavities form. Also, when and how decay can be reversed and when it's too late. And also, I'll go through some oral health tips uh, I suggest doing to stop new cavities from forming. And by the end of this video, you'll have a clear picture on what's possible and what's not, and what you can do to try and keep your teeth as healthy as possible. Okay, so what's the difference between decay and a cavity? And let's start with the basics, because that's where a lot of confusion and misunderstanding takes place. So, tooth decay is the process of gradual breakdown of a tooth that's caused by acid and bacteria. And it starts with bacteria and plaque feeding on sugar, which ends up producing acid as a byproduct. Now, this acid ends up attacking your enamel, which is the hard outermost layer of your tooth. And continuous breakdown or continuous attack of that enamel is what causes the enamel then to lose its minerals. And this process is what we call demineralization. Now, the good news is in these early stages, tooth decay can still be reversed and potentially stopped with the help of the minerals in your saliva and also the help of fluoride from toothpaste and mouthwash. But if the tooth decay continues and ends up breaking through your enamel, it eventually ends up creating a hole. Now, that hole is what we call a cavity. And once a cavity is formed, it can only be treated by a dentist because it's irreversible at this point. So when we talk about reversing a cavity, what we really mean is we're trying to reverse early stages of tooth decay. So let's talk about how cavities form step by step. The first thing is plaque buildup. Now, plaque is that sticky film of bacteria that forms on your teeth every single day, which is harmless at first. But when you consume something sugary or starchy, the bacteria in the plaque end up producing acids. So every time you eat something sugary or starchy, your teeth go through something known as an acid attack. And that acid attack can last sometimes up to 20 minutes. So during this time, acids are actively breaking down your enamel. And that leads us to something known as demineralization. So if you don't give your teeth the minerals they need to recover, such as minerals from your saliva, fluoride, or from your diet, the enamel then starts to weaken. And at this stage, keep in mind, tooth decay is still reversible. But if that hasn't stopped, the decay can break through the enamel and reach to the second layer of the tooth known as dentin, which is a softer consistency. Now, at this point, the damage is permanent and eventually a hole will probably end up forming. Now, this process happens slowly over multiple months or years, and there's a lot of factors that can come into play, such as your diet or your oral hygiene. So, can you reverse decay? The answer is yes, but usually only when it's within the enamel. Now, the key to reversing tooth decay is something known as remineralization, which is a process that helps the tooth restore its lost minerals. And here's how you can do it. So, the first thing I suggest is brushing with a fluoride toothpaste. So, that should be done ideally twice a day. And fluoride is very effective because fluoride helps enamel regain its lost minerals and also helps the enamel build itself back up. The second thing is your saliva. Now your saliva is like your mouth's natural defense system. So it neutralizes acids and if you have a dry mouth, what I suggest doing is possibly chewing on sugar-free gum, especially something that contains xylitol, because you want to increase that saliva production. And the third thing I suggest is dietary changes. So cutting back on sugary or starchy foods helps reduce the number of acid attacks your teeth go through. Foods such as dairy products, which are rich in calcium, help strengthen your enamel. And the fourth thing I suggest is using a fluoride mouthwash. Now, I suggest using a fluoride mouthwash, but at a separate time of day to when you're brushing, just because you don't want to wash away the fluoride or the concentrated fluoride from your toothpaste. Now, let's talk about when it's no longer possible to reverse a cavity. Now, when decay breaks through the enamel and reaches to the second point, which is dentin, that's when you might be looking at potentially a cavity forming. And that's when remineralization is no longer possible. At this point, uh, the cavity has to be cleaned out and filled by a dentist. Now, sometimes uh, if the decay goes deeper to the point where it reaches the pulp, which basically is the center part of the tooth that contains blood vessels and nerve supply, you might be looking at a root canal treatment. And if the damage is too severe or extensive, you might be even looking at an extraction where you lose the tooth. So that's why early intervention and prevention is very important. So here are some habits I personally recommend to help stop new cavities from forming. So the first thing I suggest doing is brushing your teeth every day, twice a day, 
for at least two minutes. And that should be done ideally with a fluoride toothpaste because with the fluoride, you can help reverse the early enamel damage. The second thing you must do is use a floss. Now with flossing, you help clear away the food particles that's stuck in between your teeth that can't be cleaned with a toothbrush. The third thing I suggest doing is limiting sugary uh, snacks and drinks. So the less sugar you consume, the less acid attacks your teeth have to go through. The fourth thing I suggest doing is keeping your mouth hydrated. So drinking plenty of water throughout the day is important because that helps clear away food particles and is also essential for saliva production. And the fifth thing you should be doing is seeing your dentist regularly for routine checkups and potential cleanings if necessary. That's because at that point, we can sometimes see the early enamel damage and know what to do and how to act at that point.